In this video, Thomas Sackman will share how he created Enzo's textures by transferring them from the original character he created for his course on CG Circuit, where he teaches you how to create an anatomically correct, realistic human from scratch using ZBrush, the ZRap plugin, Mudbox, Mari, Maya, and Substance. And I've linked his course in the description. Hello. In this video, I will show you how we transfer all the sculpting and texturing details from the character I did in my CG circuit course to the metahuman to bring Enzo to life. The first step was to match the geometry from the metahuman to a CG circuit character using CRAP in ZBrush. CRAP is a great plugin that allows you to transfer geometry by setting map points in both meshes. After doing the transfer, I decided that it would be better to do it the other way around, so I went back to CRAP and as I had the points saved, I just import them back and did the transfer again. With the transfer done, I went into Madbox where I imported both meshes with different UVs. I rename each of the meshes properly and import the textures into my CG circuit mesh. Here is where the power of Madbox appear. To do the transfer, we will need to go to UVs and maps, transfer paints layers, and add the target and source models. After that, we just press extract we might need to allow a couple of minutes for the extract and bang, you have all the textures applied to your metahuman. After this, the only thing we need to do is to do right click in the paint, export, and we exported the base color into our new UVs. As you can see, the base color is applied to our metahuman mesh. After that, we will just need to repeat the process for all the rest of the maps and we will import the bump, the roughness, and the normal. With our textures transferred, in Substance, we just create a fill layer and I imported all the maps that we transfer in Madbox. As you can see, we have the diffuse, roughness, bump, and normal already working on our new mesh. Also, I imported the metahuman textures as a base to have them underneath and using the clone stamping and masking, I started cleaning up the broken areas from our transfer. I had to do this for all the maps to make sure that there were no sharp cuts in any area of the bodies. That's a big no for organic texturing. As I was not happy with our normal map at this point, I went back into ZBrush where I adjusted the CG circuit mesh manually to match the pose of the metahuman but without losing all the main shapes. In this part of the process, it was key to get my mesh as close as possible to the metahuman because we were going to transfer again the points to create the morph target and bake the normal maps. Once I was happy with the position, I projected the details from the sculpt to the metahuman mesh using the project tool from ZBrush and ZRap. At this point, it was really important to keep the metahuman head mesh in the original position as we were not going to be able to do the morph target with it. Once we transferred the meshes, we went back to Substance where we were ready to do the bake of the normals. As you can see, now the normal maps start to look much better and we are getting all the muscle and skin details from our original sculpt. Here, I spent some time cleaning the bump and normal maps by masking out the areas on conflict and revealing some details. At this point, we decided that following the story would be better to have Enzo without underwear and I had to go back to my original substance file from the CG circuit character to remove the tattoos, the paints and some of the dirt and dust layers. As the face textures were painted in Mari, I had to go back to that original file and erase the paint from the face. As I worked with a node system, this was really quick and easy to do. With the body and face cleaned up, I had to export all the textures again and go back to Madbox to redo the transfer. With all the textures transferred, again in Substance, I replaced the old texture with the new one. And at this point, we decided that the hand textures from the metahuman were working much better than our textures from our CG circuit mesh. So we just masked out that areas and also did some color correction to match the color from the metahuman skin to our character. When I was happy with the blend, I decided to bring my artistic side and started painting the nails manually. What I realized was that the metahuman hand was looking really nice in general, but that the nails were lacking a bit of detail. There was not any kind of texture information in the nails itself. So I spent a few hours painting one by one each of the nails. At this point, I could have done it with photo projections, but I decided to do it manually because as it's a personal project and not a professional one, I could keep some freedom and 
have a bit of fun with this. As you can see here, I just apply like a white material there just to previsualize better what we were having there. I deleted the bump and the normal maps and also the roughness map to get some kind of glossy to the nail. I did the same approach for the feet where, as you can see here, we added like I added a bit of dirt there. And for the nails, I will do the same approach that I had with the hands. As we cannot go really far with the textures from the MetaHuman in terms of resolution, I didn't have to go super in detail with these nails, but at least these details were going to add some personal touch to the close-up shots that we're going to have from the feet and from the hand. At this point, another thing that we saw that it was missing in our character were the veins on the legs. So I spent some time sculpting them in ZBrush to get as much detail as possible for the foot shots. For the vein, I follow some real-life references in my other monitor to get the position, shape, and thickness right. Also use this time to fix a bit the shape of the feet, that it was looking a bit too flat, and define a bit some of the shapes to get a bit more information. Now that Thomas has shared how he created Enzo's textures, in the next video, Thomas will walk you through how he created the MetaHuman body morph in Maya.